All right, we're going to talk about the sealing surface of uh, the upper portion of the combustion chamber uh, as it meets into the block. Um, so here I have my cylinder block. This is a 1.4 liter um, engine, so it's a little, little small engine. But it, it, this, this same uh, testing technique would be done on any, any engine, um, the sealing surfaces, so between the block and the cylinder head. What we're looking for is any type of, uh, of warpage. Um, so if there was any, any dishing in, in the cylinder head itself or the block, um, we would uh, need to identify that. Is it nice and square uh, across here so that when I clamp my cylinder head to this block, that I'll have a, a sealed combustion chamber above each cylinder. So the way that I do that is I've got my feeler gauge right here, and the feeler gauge is going to help to assist if, to see if there is any gaps. And I'm, and I'm simply just going to take this uh, precision uh, straight edge, and I'm going to lay it directly across um, each of the cylinders. So I've got it touching on both sides. I'm going to apply some downward pressure to it, and then I'm going to try to slide this feeler gauge up underneath. If I get some looseness and this does slide up underneath, that would then indicate I'd want to get the, just a little bit of drag, and that would tell me how much uh, of warpage that I have here in the center. Okay, so if I, if I push down, if I put this firmly on the block, I don't have any warpage. And this is two thousandths, this filler gauge, two thousandths of an inch. So I have less than that on this particular um, block. I don't want to just measure right there. I want to go ahead and measure on each side then of the, of the um, cylinder. So I'm going to measure on this side, and then I'm going to come and measure it on this side, on the other side of the cylinder. I'm going to do it diagonally, so I'll measure it at a diagonal. I'm going to see whether or not I've got any warpage there and uh, on this diagonal as well. And then I wouldn't want to just check here in the center. I'd want to check all along the straight edge to ensure that there isn't any warpage um, along the, the block itself. I'd perform this exact same uh, test using um, the straight edge on the cylinder uh, head portion of this engine, uh, ensuring once again that I don't have any warpage. Any warpage of the cylinder head or block is going to cause uh, all kinds of engine problems. I could have uh, misfire uh, because I don't properly seal the combustion chamber. I could have oil uh, consumption as oil gets into the cylinder. Um, I could have uh, coolant loss as uh, coolant passes aren't properly uh, sealed. So. Um, if, if a block or a cylinder head does not pass uh, this test, if there is too much warpage, uh, you can get a block um, resurfaced and a cylinder head resurfaced. A lot of modern engines, though, it's just going to require a replacement of the cylinder head or um, the block if they do not meet the specification. So what causes a cylinder head or the block to warp? Um, really high temperatures. Um, improper installation um, or removal of the cylinder head. Um, if I were to uh, not torque the cylinder head in the appropriate sequence using the appropriate torquing, um, that may cause warpage of the, of the cylinder head. So all of those conditions could lead to warpage. This is the test that I would perform in order to identify um, if, there, if there was any warpage.